take a look at the service here. We can right click any service and we can go to properties. And here's what we want to look for. First, we want to see the account that's being used to run the service. So here I'm going to click the log on tab and it's using a local system account. Now, sometimes a local system account might not be that secure. So what I'm going to do here is actually change it to use an account that we created earlier, that DC admin account. Now, just to make sure that name exists properly, I'm going to go ahead and click Browse. I'll do a search for it and check the names. And it is DC admin. And of course, I'm going to have to enter the account password. Now, again, what we're doing here is actually increasing the security of application management once we turn on group policy, because now we're using an account we built, not a local system account. Now, before clicking OK here, I've clicked the General tab. Now, the startup type says that it's manual. Now, if we want this to automatically start when Windows restarts, we can click the drop-down arrow, and we can click Automatic. Now, the only difference between Automatic and Automatic Delayed Start is this. As a Windows Server boots, the Automatic services will start first, and then the Delayed Start services will start kind of as a second wave of services. So if you have a service that depends on another service to start, for example, you might want to make it a delayed start. For example, if you're running Microsoft Exchange, the email server, you'll want to make sure that Exchange starts up before all of the ancillary services for Exchange start up. So the Exchange service you would put in the automatic category, whereas some of the other Exchange services you might put in the delayed start category. Here I'm just going to change this to automatic, and I'll click OK here. Now I'm not going to start the service because we have yet to install and work with group policy. But once we do, we will want the service to start automatically. So that's just one example of what you might do to work with services. Again, if you have a service that stops on you, you can always right click on it and attempt to restart it. Now I've got no reason to restart this service as it's already running. But if you do have a service that stops on you, you can come to the services window and you can right click a service and you can restart it.